I want to stand for existing or maintain the existing protocol. I recognize the PTA members. I acknowledge, recognize, applaud them for organizing this kind of program. It's very, very notable and we applaud you, we commend you. And I'm sure the school have been feeling the impact since you've been running it for 10 years. So I'm glad to meet you. And um, for the students that are here, to be nice that you use this opportunity. Many, many people did not have this opportunity. So many did not have this opportunity at all. They just, oh, I want to be a doctor, I want to be an engineer, and all that. They didn't think through, and that's why anyone here today can make you. It's so different, it's different from just going to the career council in your, in your school. Some people have regretted the courses they took. And don't be deceived. When in a country you want to study in Nigeria, I don't even think 20% of people study what they want to study. There's a lot of competition out there about over almost half. Or let me be, let me mellow down a little bit. If you want four of applicants in job, a UTM in a quality, apply to study medicine. This is very well. You know, I'm from the University of Ibadan. So I can tell you that. So listen very well. Because something is wrong with our society. A little bit wrong. So in a situation where you have one third or more applying to read medicine, there's something is wrong. So let me tell you how it goes. You want to enter University of Ibadan and you want to study medicine, take the job and all that. We call only those that score 200 and above for post UME. After post UME, clearly, we have 4,000, about 4,000 people qualified to study medicine. Well qualified. In one university. 4,000. And the capacity is 150. Are you hearing me well? Some of you read about a girl who scored 300 and something I wasn't taking. That is the fact. Because she's a Christian. Because you can score 350, whatever you score, you won't get it. If the cut off for medicine, for instance, it's, it's, it's not static, but assuming it's 80, all the aggregate is 80. Jam, post UMA, YM. Let's say aggregate of 80. That means that's the minimum. You have to have 80 and above. I tell you, between 80 and 70, you can have 100 students. I'm sorry, between 80 and 90, you can have 100 students. How? 80.01, 80.1. Are you getting the next? So, at the end of the day, you must have 10 heads to be able to study medicine in quotes. And then you have close to 3,000, 4,000 people who want to study medicine, they, they are qualified and they cannot get in. Then they start going to read book name, agree, all the things they don't want to read. That is what it is in Nigeria. If you want to study such, and that's what it is in many universities. The only other option is you are wealthy, then you go abroad. If you go abroad, if it is real, like in, a, in developed countries like the US, you must have a degree first. And let me tell you what happens. By the time a lot of our Nigerian children go to the US, they want to study medicine. I wish parents were here. By the time they read the first set of biological or whatever it is, so in the US, you can study history. 
uh, music for four years and still come back and read medicine. So they are more flexible. And then you do the first four years of whatever you want to do. Most of the times, those children have lost interest. They don't want to study the medicine anymore. Hello? And for many years, I began to wonder. Something must be wrong. If one of us are doctors, who will be the patient? And this way it starts. And there are no other things that we can do. And I've seen cases. My daughter study medicine. And she doesn't want to practice. She's doing her MPH right now in the US. We're spending so much money. So much. I can't imagine it. And she doesn't want to practice. In terms of clinical practice. Because she's already, she said she's seen it all. It's not really what I want to do. Study medicine. And it's not only medicine that is in the healthcare. In your program, you encountered 40. And there could be more than that. And I remember many parents who pressure, including me, when she wanted to study, they said, I said, don't study pharmacy. You know why? I said, your mom works so hard. If, if you work this hard as a doctor, you earn more. Hello? But I've come to realize that money is not everything. I'm a passionate pharmacist. Very passionate. I remember in my year one, my dad wanted me to change that medicine. I said, no. This is what I will do. And I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. So much so that I've made a career out of it. Instead of a career. That anywhere I sit and you're talking about healthcare, pharmacy must come in. Hello. And without medicine, there is no healthcare. I always start with that slide. 80 to 90 percent of people that come to the hospital expect a prescription, they expect medicine, isn't it? And so you need to collaborate to be able to provide healthcare. So I'm an important agent. Even in, even in research, as a professor, they call me and want to do research. Where is the pharmaceutical research there? So I fill in that gap. Are you following? A lot of innovations are there. You know, medicine we poor is a skill. You just you know skill you have to do and do I won't be able to do it. So I'm passionate about it. I promote it. I'm glad about it. I reach my peak with it. I mean everything you want to do, I've done it with being a pharmacist. And when I leave here, I'm going to a meeting of United States. Yes, I'm um, um, giving it to the glory of God. What I'm saying is that when you are passionate, you do it, you will excel. Even if you're a nurse, even if you're anything, you just fit into that space. And so we have a lot of unhappy students in our universities because they are not able to read medicine. And yet, I know a medical doctor who is very rich because he's a fashion designer in a bag. He designs for the big and mighty. Hello? It's a very good course, but there are other things you can do. So, listen to these medical doctors. You will see that there are diversities. In healthcare, I was glad I heard about someone talking about social works because I don't want you to be frustrated because you didn't get to read medicine. So listen and listen well. In Queensland University, I mean, career is, they will tell you about that. I'm not here to define it to you. It's a progress, it's an action, it's something you do and enjoy. If you're doing and you're not enjoying it, please find something else to do. Um, in medicine, they have consultants, isn't it? Do you know, or not to me, because of what I do, and I try to do it well, I didn't know people were watching. And at some point in UCA, 
it, I was appointed a consultant. Are you with me? And that was the first time in the history of Nigeria that a pharmacist would be appointed a consultant in the teaching of them. And that's because you are providing pharmaceutical care if you or, 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 or information. Or else, patients will die. Hello? How they should take the drug and so on and so on. So when I teach my students, I teach them to be proud of being a pharmacist. They are usually very shy. No! You are an important agent. In this, in this campus, college, if the cleaners don't clean here, we won't be able to stay here. Correct? Everybody is important in this healthcare. However, the, the good news is that when you are in the healthcare profession, you put smile on people's faces. You make people that are unwell to be what? <laughs> yes. Because I can tell you more about the side effects, about the dosage, about the pharmacokinetics. By the time I begin to blow, the dog falls with bow. That's the truth. And 
little bit happening. So this is one area that could interest you. And in the single cell club, where we have single cell patients for years, and many times we want to check your genotype, we'll take your blood, take it to the lab, da 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 da, do all the things, cost maybe 6,000, then after some days, come and collect your results. But now the WHO has produced, and it's produced by a pharmaceutical industry. That's biotech. Kids. Here, in 10 minutes, we we'll break you and immediately your genotype comes. Just like by putting a strip, it's a new technology. So, new technologies are coming which will interest you. Bioengineering, you know, medical engineering, biomedical engineering, very important. So, key to me, technology is talking. Mobile apps on your app, you know how many steps you are taking, you know how many calories you have burnt. They are all health packages. 